I mean, we didn't rebound in basketball. We gave up so many offense rebounds. Um, I mean, I don't even know. We gave up a lot of offense rebounds, and that's what allowed them to get second opportunities and get extra possessions. And then, you know, I, I got to be better uh, individually of making, you know, my decision making. Um, just giving them opportunities down the stretch. Uh, we get a shot attempt. You know, obviously we had a chance to, to make it and, and push the lead up. Then we're not fighting through that. So uh, it's got to be better individually and as a team. And then secondly, this is the first time we've chatted with you since the team acquired LaMarcus. Uh, how do you think he makes you all better? And, and what are you looking forward to about playing with him? Uh, he brings a different aspect to, to you know, our team as far as, you know, him, him being able to, you know, post up and, and knock that mid-range jumper down. You know, so, um, I mean, obviously we know, you know, what he's done over, over his career. But I think all, it's all about gelling together now. And the quicker we can get L.A. and K.D. and everybody healthy and, uh, you know, Landry back, um, then, you know, we can catch a rhythm. You know, I, I mean, on paper it looks good, but we got to actually get out there and, and get going. So I'm excited for those to get those guys to get back. Uh, very, very soon, so we can get this thing going. Bruce Beck with NBC New York. James, it would be easy after a win and a triple-double to, to just pump out your chest, but in your interview with Grady and the, in your words to Malika just a couple moments ago, you're talking about that you need to be better down the stretch. Yeah. What, what, why are you always looking to improve like that? <laughs> you never be complacent. You know, I can't be complacent. I've, I've never been like that, and I won't start now. You know, I think I can always be better. Um, you know, I, I think when you're trying to accomplish something, you first you got to look in the mirror, look at yourself, and see what things that you can do better and ways you can contribute in a better way for the betterment of the team. So, um, you know, I can't control everything that's going on around me. I can control, you know, a little bit. But one thing I know I can control is myself. So, um I got to do, do a better job of my decision making, like I said, getting guys in their position and just getting a shot up. You know, if we get a shot up, then that's good enough that we can get our defense set. Um, and that will be better. Greg Logan with Newsday. Uh, James, uh, Steve alluded to uh, you guys going through kind of a hard uh, stretch right now. Uh, you've been in a couple of grinded out games, several grinded out games in a row, and you look at your minutes load is. Is all are all the minutes you're playing kind of catching up with you? Is this kind of a, a tough time of year for the whole team because you've been shorthanded for so long? Um, I mean, I don't know if it's a tough time. You know, I mean, I think teams we have a target on our back. Teams are coming in and play well, and you know, that's pretty much it. Uh, I think everything every team goes through you know uh, ups and downs throughout the course of a year. You know, I'm just happy that. It's not even a tough time for us because we've been having to deal with injuries and, and, and when things like things like that of nature and, and throughout the course of the season. But I think we're just in a fall right now in the sense of like we got to find some energy. And I think well, I know once Katie and Lamarcus and Landry gets back, they're gonna bring that. So uh, we just got to continue to find ways to, to win, uh, however however they come, which we've seen these last few games, and uh, keep pushing. That's that's the NBA season for you.